Our friend stick figure is living on a coast. People in this area are struggling with diverse problems due to rising sea levels. Recently, heavy rains and floods are happening frequently. The water gets dirty, and our friend can't find any clean water source. Stick figure ends up leaving their land. Look at their sad face. It is a long journey to find a new place to live. Oh no, this city is already packed with people. Stick figure feels like they don't belong here, but there is nowhere else to go. Worldwide sea levels have risen over decades. From 1880 to 2000, the mean sea level rose 5 inches, and between 2000 and 2020, it has risen another 2 to 3 inches. Rates of local sea level in the coastal area could be larger than the global average due to geological processes. Scientists predict the future sea level will rise another 10 to 12 inches by the year 2050. The main cause of rising sea levels is melting ice and glacier loss. They are shrinking or disappearing, and they have lost nearly 25 meters of liquid water relative to 1970. Glacier loss is also a serious threat to natural and human water supplies. Another primary factor is the expansion of seawater as it warms due to global warming. Global warming is caused by accumulation of heat-trapped greenhouse gases, and more than 90% of this trapped heat is absorbed by the oceans. This makes ocean temperatures rise as water expands. Future sea levels will differ based on future rates of greenhouse gas emissions, global warming, and rates of glacier and ice loss, which means the future sea levels depend on us. You know that three out of four people living in poverty rely on agricultural resources to survive? This means that 75% of people living in poverty will be pushed further into poverty when land and resources start to disappear, largely in part due to natural disasters such as large sea swells, extreme winds, and extreme rain and flooding, along with the general rising sea levels. One third of the world's arable land has been lost in the last 40 years. The second most deadly natural event in 2019 was a flood caused by monsoon rains. This took place in northern India and lasted from July to October, causing nearly 2,000 deaths. If nothing is done to prevent climate change now, 40% of the world's population will be at risk of losing their homes, forcing them to be displaced by moving inland. This will cause more crowded cities and conflict. Bangladesh is an example of these dangers. Low-lying rivers meet the tides, increasing your salt levels. The delta is normally 1 to 3 meters above sea level but multiplies with the addition of the tides. Even embankments cannot withstand the new height above sea level. The flooding causes drinking water to be polluted and have high salinity levels. Human consumption should not exceed over five grams of salt per day, but the few water pumps available are often broken, so the people of Bangladesh have no choice but to drink the oversalted water. Because of this, health problems arise. The rise of sea levels has power over health. Flooding can have major impacts, like drowning, injuries, mental health, and diseases. Water-related diseases are caused by the rise of sea level temperature and an increase of coastal salinity. Coastal salinity is the level of salt in the ocean. People become exposed through recreational water and shellfish. The possible diseases include febrile vulnificious, diarrhea, intestinal illness, wound and bloodstream infections, and death. The diseases from water salinity particularly affect pregnant persons. Let's be honest, the information presented has been bleak, but the sea level crisis is not hopeless. There are actions that everyone can take to contribute to the solution. Here are three ways you can have an impact on those being displaced by the sea levels rising. Reducing your footprint. The average family of four creates 10 tons of CO2 emissions each year. Small actions by you can make an impact on cutting carbon. Turning down the heating by 1 Celsius, filling the kettle with only the amount of water that you need to boil, turning electrical equipment off when not in use. These are cost-saving actions which will save the future planet. Build awareness. We all have different skills which can be used to share the realities of this crisis. You can create an eye-catching flyer, write a powerful speech, pitch stories to the media, or submit content to newsletters. Your voice can be used creatively or directly. Finally, fundraise. There are so many ways to do this, whether it be directly donating to organizations, working with displaced people, having a garage sale, a sports tournament fundraiser, and many other things like this. 
For example, the Borgen Project is a great organization that is directly helping people who have been displaced due to climate change and are more than happy to accept any donations. We can't be complacent to the realities of sea levels rising. We hold the actions that give hope 